Hey everyone, welcome to the brand new video series of Azure DevOps. In this video series, we are going to see 30 videos in 30 days. I'll be providing the URL for playlist in the video description. Please do watch. We have already covered about creating projects, teams, area path, and we have seen the customization of coloring the tag and then coloring based upon assignee. So in this video, what we are going to see is how to add custom columns. So how to do that? So in order to do it, just click on this configured board setting and navigate to columns. Here you could see new active result and close, which you see it over here. And let's say for example, let's consider this. Here you could rename the particular column name, but behind the scenes, the state is going to be the same only. It won't get changed. Let's say for example, active 55. I'm just renaming it and let me save it. And if you see here, this is showing up here and any story gets moved. It will be still in active only, but we have a different naming over here. That's it. And let me go to columns. Let me undo it. And now let me add one more column. So why I'm adding one more column? Let's say, for example, I'm working on something and I got blocked or I'm waiting for some confirmation from third party. So in that case, I may need to keep it on hold. So I'm adding one more column. I'm going to name it as on hold and we will see this WIP limit in a while and here come down if you see this on hold is an additional column but to which particular state it belongs to it belongs to active or new it should be active only so let me save it so this ticket is active but it is on hold for a while so this will be still active and one more thing is that i want to keep this on hold somewhere here meaning like first it should be new active and then on hold so in that case just go here columns and just click on the three dot move towards right see and insert left insert right so in case if you want to insert one more column to the left you can just select the c let me delete it and now Let's save. Okay. And here you could find by five by five, right? You couldn't find that particular value for new, but you could find for active on hold and resolve, but you cannot find it for new and close. So what is this? This is called as work in progress limit, WIP limit to be simple, WIP limit or work in progress limit. So let me go over here. So why we need to configure this? Let's say, for example, if you are having more than five items on hold then you need to concentrate on reducing it so let me add it over here and let me go to settings let's go to on hold i am setting wip limit as one so if you see here it is showing up in rent usually it is supposed to be only one item should be on hold but there are two items so that is why it is showing up in two so by this way you can configure like how many work items are supposed to be in this particular column by doing so you can prioritize the work like hey okay instead of working on new item i'm going to work with on hold i'm going to get it closed let's say for example if one teammate can hold up to five user story in active status and you have three teammates in that case set up wip limiters 15 for active state and now let's go here let's go to column active and here you could find an option called a split column into doing and done. So let me select this. Now in active itself, you could find two options like doing and done. So likewise, you can have split between doing and done. So you can just, hey, I'm doing it. I have done it. And once everything is verified, I will move to result. Likewise, you can mark it. And that's it on this video. We have a lot of concepts to cover. I request you to hit the bell icon so that you will get a notification whenever I am uploading new videos. Most importantly, super thanks is now enabled on our channel. If you wish to contribute, I would really appreciate it. Follow me on LinkedIn to stay connected and I will be providing the URL for WhatsApp and Telegram link in the video description. Please do join. Thank you. Bye-bye.